Hi, I'm Chaplain Charlie Wharton with the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office. And I'm Chaplain Larry Crabtree with the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office and the Maryland State Police. Well, Charlie, again, we're at our third segment today as we're looking at some practical advice and helpful information related to, uh, to marriages and relationships. Uh, and again, this is good for whether you're in a marriage, whether you're um, contemplating marriage, or you're in a very serious relationship. These are all fundamental principles on how we can have the most intimate, healthy, strongest relationships that we can. And we're trying to do this so that we can uh, kind of take it from a law enforcement perspective because they have some lives and stresses that are pretty unique. Uh, although these principles certainly could be used, uh, I think, for anyone in any walk of life. One of the keys I think we need to understand, we've been learning already that men and women are different um, and there's different dynamics. And perhaps one of the things that we should talk about are personality differences because we all have a different personality and that certainly can have a rather significant impact on a relationship. So Charlie, what is some advice you have on dealing with these inevitable personality differences that we have? I think one of the things that makes it different is that not everybody shares our experiences. There are certain things that we do in our careers that nobody else is ever going to have to do. They're never going to have to be able to rationalize or understand what's going on. Most people are not going to have to stand there and make a decision whether to take another human life. Most people are not going to have to walk up to somebody else's door, a stranger's door, knock on that door and tell them that their, their loved one is not going to come home. So there are some different experiences that we have that build our personality and we can't expect everybody to understand that. I think a second thing that uh, kind of builds our personality is our worldview. When we come into a law enforcement career, we have a specific worldview. And sometimes that worldview has changed very quickly. Most of us grew up in a relatively normal family, a relatively um, quiet household. And then all of a sudden, we're thrown into this world where that is not our norm. And it changes our perspective. And, and one of the challenges is that we go from being a, uh, a calm, maybe even positive personality to where skepticism and cynicism become an important part of what keeps us going during the day. And I think it's important when we get into our relationships to understand that our spouse and our kids and our partners and anybody else that we're close with, they may not share that same worldview and that may create conflict within the family. Now that's an important fact. I think that you're hitting something really significant there. But what should they do since that's the reality? I think the first thing that we have to do is remember that we're different. Maybe that's a firm grasp of the obvious, but when I look at everybody else, my, my go-to thought is that everybody sees the world that I, the way I see it. I'm normal. I have to be normal because that's who I am. So everybody else, to be normal, has to think the way that I do, and that's really not true. And so I think we need to appreciate each other's personality, and maybe that's our default in saying not everybody sees things the way that I do. Also remember that many of us got into the, our relationship before we got into this job. Yeah. So if m my wife, for example, she didn't marry a preacher, she didn't marry a cop, she married an out-of-work out of college graduate. That was where our lives got started. And so as I went through my career changes throughout my lifetime, she had to make those adjustments and I had to appreciate what her time to get caught up with where I was. Yeah, I have a question for you. Well, do you believe it's true different personalities attract? Do you think that's true? That's a very interesting question because my wife and my personalities are different. And in the beginning, I think that drew us together. I was intrigued by kind of that free spirit that she was and the way that she looked at life in a different way. But once we were married for a year or a couple of years, 
you start to look at that and you go, hmm, what it drew us together in the beginning may kind of be kind of annoying now. I don't know if you and, and Kim were the same way or not, but I think it's a pretty common thing. I think it's a human experience because I do believe opposites attract. And what we think is really cute because we, we're, it's different from what we are when we're in that dating stage. You're right, those cute things can very quickly become, oh my goodness, they're a freak kind of a thing. And, uh, and yet I think we have to realize that those differences aren't bad. In fact, if we use them properly, they make us better because they feel voids that we don't have, that we, we help each other. But you got to understand those differences, first of all, and recognize that they're there and what's going on, and learn how to balance them and not resent them, but use them in a positive way. And that, that takes some effort. Let me ask you a question, since we're asking questions. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is the difference between playing a role at work and having that as your personality. I think our officers are called upon to play a role from seven in the morning until seven at night or, or wherever, you know, whatever their shift is. But that may not be who they are or who they need to be at home. Sure. I, I mean, a lot of times I agree because law enforcement officers are often called upon to be very authoritative. And you can have a personality where you're, you don't like confrontation, you know? Um, you, in fact, you do everything you could to get back away from it, but you know you've been trained to behave and react and respond in a certain way. And I think you do need to differentiate between this is the hat I wear while I'm at work and doing the job that the state has entrusted me to do, and then there is the real me that goes home, has a wife and kids, and to be honest with you, that's your greatest priority. That's, that's where the rubber meets the road, and that's where it really, really matters because that's most important. And I think that's one of the big challenges with the law enforcement world because we like what we do. Yeah. I mean, this is not a job that you, you know, you mail it in and, you know, it's an eight to five job. The reason that you stay in it long term is you really like what you yeah. do. So we have to remember that this isn't who we are. This is what we get yeah. to do. Who we are is what happens when we take the uniform off and we sit down with our, with our family. Yeah. Now, I want to flip this around a little bit because we tend to talk about officers and their relationship in the family. I want to talk about the family and their relationship with their officers. I remember watching cops. I used to watch cops all the time. My daughter and I, we would watch cops, you know. And every once in a while, you would get the guy that would say, yeah, you know, when I get home, I take my uniform off and, you know, I, I just become me. And I always kind of thought, I'm not sure about that, you know, because it's very difficult. So as a family member, it's important for us to understand that that's a very difficult switch to turn off, especially when there is that, those extreme emotions that are there. So as, we, as we've talked about before, as we'll talk about again, there needs to be some time for that adjustment to come off the job and back into the family. And I think one thing that families can do is to understand that this, the family, the home, needs to be a safe place for the officers to come into. Yeah. It's a place where they can be themselves. Um, they don't need to be met every night with just wait till your dad gets home issues. Wait till your mom gets home. Um, this needs to be the place where they can be themselves. And uh, that, that becomes such a vital part about this concept of the safe haven that, that we need to be in. Yeah. So personality differences are real. And, and they have to be dealt with, acknowledged, and some plans and some intentionality, everything's intentional, uh, that we overcome those issues. So good advice, Charlie. One more, I want to finish up on this one, and that is that we need to remember what brought us together in the first place. We don't arrange marriages, relationships in the United States. It's not, no, you know, you're... That's like India. Yeah, it's not like your parents get with my parents. There's something that brings us together that we voluntarily get into this relationship. I think it's important to go back periodically and either talk about that or remember that. And it helps us to, to spend more quality time together. Well, Charlie, thank you for uh, guiding us through this process of understanding 
personalities, particularly as it relates to uh, law enforcement work. Um, these are real things. We hope that it's beneficial to our friends uh, that are listening here and watching today. Well, let's wrap things up. And again, we want you always to be strong and be safe.